Good morning and welcome to Fantasy Island, located in Ingold Mells. It's close to Skegness, not too far away. And of course, we love visiting here. Every year we come back, see what's changed. Uh, a few years ago, uh, new ownership took over at Fantasy Island. Uh, Mellers, who run various different attractions around the world, uh, specialise in different fairgrounds and things, uh, they took over the park. And in fact, they've made a lot of improvements over the past few years. So it's great to be back here at Fantasy Island and see what's changed for this year. And uh, I'm here with someone else, but I can't quite seem to see him. I'm just inside the pyramid, so you've got to just shout out if you see it. Oh, oh, here, here he is. Alex! We started the vlog, come on, sorry, let's go. Sorry, it's sorry. Out, it's out. So yes, welcome to Fantasy Island, our first vlog of 2019. And uh, what is he doing? Great to be back. So what's changed for this year? Firstly, here inside the pyramid, look up there behind me. There is now a new high ropes course that is one of a few different new attractions for this year. Along with that, Ice Mountain, the spinning roller coaster. What is he doing? Ice Mountain, the spinning roller coaster, is now permanently here as well. So they've always had the Fantasy Mouse, the spinning coaster. However, Mellers that take uh, Ice Mountain to Winter Wonderland down in London, it's been there for a few years. They've now set it up here permanently, so we'll be checking that out. Along with that as well, there's a new flat ride, Air Max 360, so we'll give that a go. Uh, along with that as well, they've done repaints to the uh, Twister, the Sizzler, what they've got. Along with that as well, they've done some repaints to Rhombus Rocket. And yet, that's a massive list of things what I've done, including some more changes at the park for 2019. There has been a ride removal though for this year. The Beast, the park's Mondale Top Scan, has been removed. It actually uh, came out last week. They did like a closing ceremony for it. Uh, well, I believe they still own it, but obviously it's gone out to Dubai, I think, at the moment. So hopefully at some point in the future, that is gonna come back. But at least they've done that in a year when there's a lot of other attractions uh, for us to see. Lots of new stuff to see here at the park. You're right there, Alex. What? <laughs> it's not really going well for me you, tonight. Come on. Are you looking forward to your day at Fantasy Island? I can't wait. I'm so excited. I think we're going to start off with a little around the pyramid and, of course, go and have a ride on Millennium. Hopefully, everything's going to be open today. Weather wise, it's looking good out there. Not really any wind at all, so we should be getting Odyssey. And yeah, like this high rope score, let's have a look at this. Spinny round. Like, that's different, isn't it? Like, haven't they changed this space a lot? It's quite my level, I think. Yeah. Quite, quite Do you remember nice. when the station for Toucan Tours used to be where we are standing now, and then they completely redid the pyramid a few years ago, put all new carpet in, all new lighting, some new attractions, audio, and then, yeah, they've gone and put a high ropes course in for this year. It's not a really long attraction, but it fits in really well. I mean, when they announced it, I thought it was going to go outside initially, but they nice. managed to fit it in here. Because there was a rock climbing wall. Yeah, the side. Machines. That was about it, whereas this looks great. It's fitting really well, I'm quite surprised. But I think we'll start off with a ride on the smoothest Vacoma that we've ever been on. Of course, the Millennium Coaster. Had a repaint for last year, looks really fresh. And that's the key word with Fantasy Island fresh. They've gone around over the past few years since uh, Mel has took it over and they've really been upgrading in the park so I'm looking forward to seeing any other changes that have been made for this year and down a little explore around Fantasy Island. Also today we've been given permission uh, to film on the rides with our chest mounted GoPro uh, which is great so we'll be able to share on ride footage from the new additions and uh, the existing rides of course here at Fantasy Island. Also new for this year is on ride photos which is quite interesting right, right, so we'll uh, see more of that as we're going around the park. Park. Yeah, let's get the vlog started. Let's go for a ride on Millennium. Off we go then, leaving the station on Millennium, climbing up that purple lift hill, rise up into the sky. Talking to rise up into the sky, we've got a fireworks display tonight. Big credit to Alex Crum for coming up with that one. Because <laughs> I said to him, I forgot to mention the fireworks in the opening. I was like, and he's, yeah, <laughs> it was like, why don't you do a little joke about rising <laughs> to the sky? So there you are, Alex, you can take full credit for that one. Yeah. <laughs> But we are, you get some nice views as you climb this lift hill. Just imagine, if this was a travelling fairground, how many rides you have with all these Look fairgrounds? at that, yeah. crazy. <laughs> Woo! Here we go. <laughs> ah, Woo! Millennium. Oh, it's such a good coaster. Honestly, it's beautiful. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! So relaxed. I could genuinely sit on this all day. Fast by more right time. <laughs> Down we go into a nice bit of helix action. Whee! Bit of 
Helix, Helix, yes. And the smoothest brakes ever. Oh, lovely, it never lets you down that ride, honestly. Really nice. Enjoyed that. I'm sure we'll do a front row later on. But yeah, fireworks tonight, so I'm looking forward to it. So some themed music as well. Don't get that at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Oh, such a wonderful ride there on Millennium to start our day here at Fantasy Island. Park hours today, 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. So definitely check the website out. Of course, with here as well, you can either buy ride tokens or you can get a wristband. Obviously, a wristband does probably work out the best value. You can find them doing lots of rides. Oh, two good tours up there. Up next, though, we're going on the magical Seaquarium ride. Let's go, this way. Wrong way, this way. Sorry, 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 sorry. Here we are then. <laughs> on Seaquarium. <laughs> We're in a little bit of a tight squeeze. Oh, I mean, I think you can fit four in these boats, apparently. Are you sure when it's golf trousers? Yeah, on, we're a bit, oh, I'm not going to pan the camera down. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea with how Alex is sitting. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, oh, oh, no. yeah. But yeah, I probably would. If there is four of you, I'd probably all, uh, yeah, definitely have two boats. Don't go in together. Boat, share, yeah, yeah share. here we are. Let's spin you around. I'm sharing a bit too much on this one. So if you've watched one of our vlogs from Fantasy Island before, you'll know the drill with what you've got to do with this song. You, it starts off a little bit like... Da, 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 a bit like that, doesn't it? A bit like Sorry, that. Oh, there was, they said smile for the camera, and I was smiling the camera and it didn't flash. Oh, did it not? Oh, no, we've got a few bits that are working here today. Oh, sorry. There so we are. Oh. Da, 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 I can't see anything, but... Oh, a great soundtrack. Pesto pasta salad. The they sing along with us at home. I don't know what they're eating tonight. I do really enjoy this ride. I think it'd be nice to see it have some more upgrades now, maybe lighting wise. I think it might come though in the near future. I'd like to think it would do. You always start the day with this ride. Yeah, well, it's oh, one of my favourites in the park. Like childhood memories, that's yeah. all right. Magical Sea Aquarium. A few bits in there not working, but like I say, I'm really hoping that with all the other improvements they've done around the park, that they might sort of go back into that and rework it in some areas. I mean, I hope they keep that classic soundtrack and stuff, but it'd be nice to have a few new speakers in there. The lighting in some places, especially at the start of the ride, uh, could do with some upgrades. But yeah, in general, there's a few bits that they need tweaking. I'm loving this high ropes course though, just here. We've got to have a go on that at some point. I'd love to see Alex on a high ropes course. But you're right in the back. Posing. Now, I don't want you to get concerned, but a little parrot is going to tell you in a minute that you're going to discover the secrets of Fantasy Island. And we're going to hear some like tubes playing. It's going to get a bit spooky, so just a little pre warning for you. But yeah, all the lighting and stuff out here is great. I'd love it if they went, oh, here we go. If they went back into Sequarium and just did that as a bit of an improvement. Overall, though, the park looks really fresh. The past few years, it's done a lot of work. Oh, let's go and discover the secrets.
soundtrack now, recorded by a local school this was, fun fact for you. Right, so after a good fun ride there on Toucan Tours, I really enjoyed that by the way, I feel like that's in a better condition as well than Sequarium. Quite a short ride, but I do like all the lighting and effects in there. But I've not been on this ride for a couple of years, and last time I came on it, I got soaked. We're going on Dragon Mountain, which is, it's a dinghy slide in this wonderfully clean environment in the pyramid, but you get soaked. I mean, last time Alex came on, have you, did we do it last time? We came and did a full part vlog or not? No. Because I came on my own early last year, so. The last time I did this ride was in 2016. So was it before they changed the layout a little bit? Yes. Was, wasn't it? Because they've changed the layout. I mean, I've not done it since that either, so. Go, go and check out the video we are so and see why I'm not impressed that we're going on this ride. <laughs> but, uh, well, he said he wanted to do it, so. We I, need to, I, need to, I need to face my fears. That's the thing, if you're scared of something, you overcome that fear by challenging so, it. I don't know if we're going to get as wet as we did then or not, because they've changed the layout a bit because of some of the, when they put the golf course and stuff in, but I don't know, let's find out. We've got the GoPro on. Let's get some footage on Dragon Mountain. Could get soaked. Oh, no. Here we go. Time to descent. Gets fast. It's like a treadmill. This. Here we go. Warm. Oh, I'm off. Oh wow. You got some lighting effects in here. So, yeah, it's a dinghy slide where the water really. Oh, I've got my bums wet already. We're moving really fast in here. Woohoo! Oh, it's all coming in around the sides. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I did all right there, I did all right. Oh, right there, so I've just come off and I'm not too bad actually, but I can hear Alex screaming, making his way down. Here he is. Oh. Are, you, are you soaked or are you all right? I'm soaked. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not done too bad, to be honest. I've got a bit of a wet bum, but that's about it. There we are. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Look at your jacket. Why do we keep doing these rides? I think we need another lap on that, don't you? Come on, let's, let's get in the queue line again. Straight round, scan your wristband. Thank you. We didn't do too bad there, actually, on Dragon Mountain. Used to get a lot wetter than that. Obviously, they changed the layout and shortened it by quite a bit, actually. Uh, I just remember I didn't do it last time because it was a bit chilly, I didn't have any clothes. I don't mind so much today because we're here all day, aren't we? Got plenty of time to dry out. And to be honest, it's only my bum that's a bit wet. Uh, but yeah, it was all right, that was. Not impressed. Anyway, you might be thinking, hang on a minute, we're in the queue for the Odyssey. And we are, it's open. We've come on a day when it's open. Like, I just normally come here on a day when this is closed. I'm so unlucky with riding this coaster. This is probably my least like ridden major roller coaster in the UK. Like even the rides that are way down south have probably done a lot more than I have this one. It's a great ride, the other thing. He's getting a bit excited. Let's excited. actually get on the ride first. Guarantee it's not going to close because of high winds. <laughs> then we'll discuss that afterwards. To be fair though, since the park has been owned by Mellors, it's been operating a lot more than it used to. With the old owners, it used to be shut a lot. It was just, oh, it was really closed a yeah, lot. A little bit of wind, yeah. yeah, and it was shut. Whereas it has been a lot more reliable. Obviously, if you are making the track down here, you want to get on it. It's actually the tallest suspended looping coaster in the world, SLC as we call them, and it's not a bad ride. Don't get me wrong, it's still not really smooth. It is still a bit jolty. However, it's, it's just the fact it's so big and you've got that huge loop, that massive cobra roll. That's what really makes this ride. So let's get on board. I really want to wait for a front row for this one because I've not been on it for a while. And uh, yeah, of course, we'll get some footage from on there. But yeah, Dragon Mountain, I'm glad we did it. We've got another mountain coming up after as well. Ice Mountain, just next door. Very good. Right, we're off on the front row of the Odyssey and we waited about five minutes to get on the world's tallest Vacoma suspended looping coaster. And I must say the views from this are absolutely incredible. What a beautiful day, the sun's shining. We've actually picked the right day to come. It's our fault, we always pick the wrong day to come down here, but yeah, it's perfect weather for this today. It's quite quiet as well. It is quite quiet. I think because it's open until nine o'clock, some people are probably gonna come in the afternoon. I mean, it, you know, if you are coming for your full day from 11 till nine, you know, you can find time to go and nip off and do a few other bits as well. Of course, the beach is only about a 10 minute walk uh, straight opposite the park. And of course you can see it in the distance. <laughs> Butlins just over there as well. Oh, yeah. Skyline Pavilion, many good times about at Butlins. And all these caravans, crazy. Look at this first drop. Honestly, when you see this, it's like, oh my oh, God. Oh, here we go. Looking down at that huge loop. There we are. Woo, woo, woo. Let's go. Oh, oh wow. Look at the size of it. Oh, into that cobra. Oh, wow. 
is ride smooth at the front. Oh! Beast. Beast already gone. <laughs> <laughs> One final inversion for me, baby. Oh. <laughs> that was excellent. Oh. That was one of my favourite rides I've had all season so far. I mean, the fact that the sun was shining, front row, and that was surprisingly smooth as well. Wow, that was brilliant. The key to that, really keep your head forward so your ears don't bash against the restraint. Wonderful. It's very rare that I do this in a vlog, but I've just filmed the front row POV and we're going straight in with a back row POV now. There's Alice over there, Whee! love it. Uh, yeah, so we thought, let's go straight in and do a back row as well. I thought, why not? Just because it's open, you never know. I say that, the sun's shining, it's a lovely day. Just give you a bit of a different perspective now of how different the ride experience is from on the front. Because obviously down that first drop, we get whipped down into that. And of course, into that first loop. There's Alex Crump. Hello. Are you all right? I'm half left, actually. Oh, but I'm... Thank you. Takes so long to climb this lift hill, doesn't it? It shows just how much of a beast this coaster is. I like using that word with this, a beast. Because that's what it is. Lift hill, I'll tell you how much I care about you, Sean. I can't hear you. It doesn't matter. Right, we're off. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to get whipped. Here we go. Whoa. Surprisingly smooth for a back row. Oh, no. <laughs> it makes Infusion look like a little kid's toy, does this? Oh. <laughs> What's that coming over the hill? Is it a monster? No, it's the Odyssey. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. That final corkscrew and into the break. Wow, Woo! honestly, I'm really rating that. Some of the best rides I've ever had on it now. Really? really? And for a back row, I thought that was quite smooth. The key is, honestly, keep your heads forward. And obviously, they've got different restraints on these that can be found on other SLCs. They're a lot more comfortable. Really enjoyed that. Up next, Ice Mountain. Right, I'm going to make a bold two in one statement now. That is the best coaster ride I've had all season. I agree. Like, I know that seems crazy. Obviously, it's not my favourite coaster in the country. I love Icon more at Pleasure Beach. However, that was my favourite physical ride that I've had on the coast. The most enjoyment I've had out of one all really year. That was amazing. Like that front row and the back row, really good. Like I've always enjoyed that coaster, but it felt like it was running better than ever. Quite smooth. Really Quite smooth. smooth. For the back row as well, I thought, oh, we're going to be jolting about a lot. Honestly, that was brilliant. So yeah, the wind, like there's hardly any today. No, so and the park's quite quiet. Yeah. The rides are running and uh, two very, very good rides and two very, very good Vacoma coasters. It's crazy. I mean, Vacoma have got a lot of stick over the years, but there's some great Vacoma rides out there, especially the ones with the custom layouts, both like the ones here, uh, Let Coaster out in Poland. That's another great Vacoma. Uh, and they do some great family coasters as well, like Flight of the Pterosaur down at Paltons. They're really on the way up. So hopefully we see some more new thrilling Vacomas in this country. I'd like to think so. But talking of new, me and Alex have got some big news for you. We bought a caravan. We bought a caravan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We bought a caravan. We've not bought a caravan. No, no, no. Oh, we're about to ride the new ride here at Fantasy Island for 2019. I've got to try and spot it though because it's not a big enough facade. It's called Ice Mountain. We're looking for like penguins and loads of like icicles and stuff. I don't know where it. Here it is, Ice Mountain. And I must say, it looks a lot bigger here than at Winter Wonderland, doesn't it? I mean, I've lost a bit of weight since you last saw it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but... <laughs> the ride, oh, not the ride. We know he's lost weight. We're on about the ride. Look at the size of the show building, and the queue looks quite quiet. So let's go and have a ride on Ice Mountain. Hopefully, they've still got all the lasers in there, the soundtrack's playing. Welcome to our Winter Wonderland vlog. Woo! In April. <laughs>
tell you what, I'm absolutely freezing. Cold. Who's been to the Arctic? Oh, nice Chilling mountain. Oh, oh, oh. Skeg there, so oh my god. <laughs> I'm joking, but honestly, it's quite a nice day today. That was great. Really impressed with Ice Mountain, as you saw there from the footage. Uh, pretty similar to what it is at High Park Winter Wonderland. But I enjoyed it a lot more here. I too. really enjoyed that. It felt like the whole thing was just put together a lot better, a lot more permanent. And I know it's still a travelling ride, and all the building and stuff's all been put in there from uh, when it was in London. But I was really impressed. Yeah, the animatronic at the start of the ride as well. I don't think I've ever really noticed it too no. much before. When it's a I don't know if that was even there. I couldn't tell nice. It's yeah. very, very cool. No, well, no it's, it's all the lasers and stuff. And the coaster itself is one of the best coasters out there. Yeah, okay. It's really intense. The way it hits the corners, it's not really trimmed much at all, is it? Right. What a great addition to Fantasy Island. I mean, it'll be interesting to see if it is going to go back to Winter Wonderland this year right. or if it's going to stay up here now. I mean, it's done maybe three or four years down at Winter Wonderland. So it'll be interesting to see maybe they've got something else planned for down there. But yes, no, even, if not, hey, even if not, I'm sure it'll definitely be back here for a, a next season, probably a few years. It seems to be going down really well. We waited about 20 minutes for Everyone's it. Everyone's come off smiling yeah. really happy. So it's Honestly, great, great really, day. really good addition, that one. And uh, yeah, nice mountain. Come here and check it out at Fantasy Island. Right then, next up, it's time for me to test out the other new ride for 2019 here at Fantasy Island. As I mentioned at the start of the vlog, unfortunately, the beast has been removed from the park. Uh, this was the location of it. It was still here until last week, and then it's been completely removed now. Like I say, I think it's gone over to Dubai, but I'm really hoping that this is more of a, a temporary thing, either just for this season or maybe a couple of seasons tops. The fact that it's a seafront amusement park and the fact that there's a lot of roads and stuff around it, I'm kind of hoping the fact that the point's putting something new just to kind of freshen up the lineup because if you're driving past this park and see the same ride you might think oh i'm going to leave it for another year and do it next year when i come on holiday so i'm kind of thinking they're putting this along with a couple of the new rides that they put in last year around the front of the park just to kind of attract in some new crowds that's what i'm hoping and we might see the beast come back in the future uh, but yeah i'll take you on board air max 360 in just a moment uh, now like i said in the vlog from great yarmouth pleasure beach uh, it was originally supposed to be going there for this year then there was a bit of a last minute change and they decided oh no actually it's not going there it's coming here to fantasy island of course great yarmouth pleasure beach and fantasy island are owned by completely different people so I'm not too sure what went on there uh, but anyway it's time for a ride on air max 360. i've been on a few of these i'm not normally a massive fan uh, but we'll go on i'll take the gopro on for the ride and we'll get some footage Right then, here we go on Air Max 360. Starting off with a bit of a gentle spin round. And of course, the gondolas should be shaking side to side as we go around on this as well to offer a similar sort of feeling to what you would have got on the bees. Not expecting it to be anywhere near as intense, but it'll still, you know, offer the same sort of sensation with the gondolas tilting when we get moving a bit faster. Also with its spinners upside down 360, kind of a little bit like the old Amazing Confusion ride what they used to have here as well. Similar sort of feeling to that. So it's a bit like that and the beast put together. And off we go. Nice and smooth and comfortable. Obviously the restraints are nowhere near as bulky on this as they are on a Bondale top scan. Woo! What a lovely day. Woo! Great views. Hey, feels very similar to Amazing Confusion. <laughs> nice upside down spin. Hey. All them caravans. Yeah, the gondolas have unlocked now. Whoa. <laughs> wow, that was quite intense. <laughs> hey.
long cycle on this as well. Whee. Really feel the gondola moving into some very different positions now. Ooh. Like that one. Whee. upside down there. And there we go, that's Air Max 360, new for 2019, Fantasy Island. Footage there from Air Max 360. Force had a ride on there. Alex gave that one a miss, didn't you? You know, he's not a massive flat ride fan, are you? I hate you well, you try a few of them. You've been on a few this year. I'm yeah, getting places. there slowly. But they're not for everyone. That's completely understandable. I mean, Charlotte's exactly the same. Uh, she's not a massive flat ride person at all. Uh, there's something very different, isn't it? Like riding a coaster and riding a flat ride. Like a coaster, agree, yeah, yeah. the different track and stuff as it follows it. It's completely different, all the elements. Whereas a flat ride, a lot of them follow the same sort of positions, don't they? Yeah, it's quite stuff. mixed, but it's... Uh, I don't know, I think I'm, yeah. I'm, quite, I'm not a big fan of travelling rides. I don't know what it is. I think I just I just don't enjoy them as much. Too intense rides, slow me for the rest yeah. of the night or daytime, so... For me, in terms of intensity with Air Max 360, don't get me wrong, it was okay. It's the best one of those I've been on. I think I've done three of those attractions before like that at places. Uh, but yeah, it's certainly, for me personally, the Beast was far superior to that. I really hope that it comes back at some point in the future, but it's something new for this year. Like I say, when cars are driving past here on the front, they can see something new in the park, keeps it fresh, and hopefully they'll come in here and uh, check it out. Definitely recommend coming down here though. The fact they've had out mountain and that, and also refurbished some rides. So we'll talk more about some of the other refurbished later but we're going on rhombus rocket first and look at the train wow this is a really nice powered family coaster another one of our childhood classics favorite of mine and yeah the train's been completely overhauled we painted up the supports from the track and it looks really good since Mellis took over the park a few years ago they've really been about making sure that everything looks nice presentation has been key and there's still some areas that have got to be improved but in general we're certainly getting there let's go for a ride on rhombus Oh, off we go! Oh, good stuff on here. A bit of interaction over the speaker system. Rhombus, let's go. That's Rhombus! Good. Trains look really fresh. Really like this. It's a lot better. Wow. It soon gets going, this does. So the supports have been painted brown. The track has got a bit of a yellow tint to it with purple in the middle. But... It soon gets moving this thing dude, it doesn't mess about. It's about with the camera. Station fly through. Oi, oi, oi! Oi, oi, oi! Yeah, that's what we like to see. Bit of staff interaction, live, living the dream, loving life. Rhombus! Yeah, the train looks loads better, really nice. Used to be uh, like purple before, if you remember it. They're basically swapping the colours of the rides because Millennium's purple now. There is rotation. <laughs> yeah, change it every few years. Come on, can we have a third lap? Come on, be a legend. Be a legend. Is that it? Please mind entering and really pleased with how Rhombus Rocket is running there. Fantastic family coaster that is well worth. What is he doing? Log flume! We're going on the log flume! Oh, here we go. Tell you what, it's nice to be getting back on some log flumes again. I was saying this the other day at Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach, went on their great log flume. Going on this one here today at Fantasy Island, did the one at Poulton's Park. Yeah, it's just nice to be getting back on some log flumes. A little look at where we're going. It's only a one drop special this one, but it's quite a nice little ride, interacts quite nicely with Rhombus Rocket. See how they've done a bit of theming work on the station there, actually, as well. Put some uh, trellis up. I think they've been to B and Q. You got some trellis. See it up the sides there. Look, it's quite nice. All these rocks been painted up. The station looks well, quite nice. Still a bit of painting work left to do there in the station, but I'm sure it'll get done at some point. There's what? What did you say? Put some trellis. 
Oh, I thought you said Travis. No, Trellis. Did I say who's you know called Travis? I don't know. See that all there? That painted green. Is that what it's called? Tra Trellis, yeah. I didn't even know that. That's like, oh, I think that's the technical name for it. Trellis. Oh, I thought you were saying Travis. No, 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 not, not Travis. No, Travis, he's coming this afternoon. <laughs> he's coming for the fireworks tonight. I, blame it. The fire <laughs> I think he does, yeah. Well, hopefully, you can get some really nice silhouettes of the fireworks. If you stand over this end, looking out towards the coasters, you get some great views. All the coasts in the background with the fireworks going off. Up we go. Yeah, station looks nice. There's Travis again. Sorry, Trellis. <laughs> got the Dodgems the other side of that as well. I'll have to go on those. You got a good mix of children's rides here as well. Some inside the pyramid, some on the outside. And down we go. One drop special, like I say. That's one of my favourite views in the park, though, that. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Oh. It's going to be a wet one, I think. Oh, oh, we're all right. We're all right. I wasn't too bad. Woo. Hardly anything, just a, a light sprinkle. What, is this what a tune. Straight from the log flume there. Then we didn't get too wet at all, actually. Straight from the log flume, we onto Volcano, the SNS shot tower. Always oh, giving us a bit of a shout countdown. I'm going to say a shout down, then. Three, two, one, is it right? Oh, hey! Woo! I can Ooh. see my old oh, there's the, uh, there's the circus Whoa. tent. Oh, hey! Great views, that just shows how close the beach is down there. Let's have a little walk down. Five minutes, tops. Yeah, looks like there's a circus going on. Is that the circus or is that something else? That isn't the circus tent, is it? Future development, I believe. You reckon? I don't know, unless it's, I don't know. What other events do they have going on? Wrestling, maybe, is it? And another tent? I don't know. Bulletins have quite a bit going on throughout the year. That was all right. It's better than Ice Blast at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, that. That's, take a lot, though, doesn't no, it? No, I still find them a bit of a one-trick pony, these. I'd rather have a proper nice drop tower, but, you know, AI hey, still get some good views. You're better off on the other side, really, for views of the park, but there you go. We managed to get straight on. No queue. Volcano. Some great views from up there on Volcano, the shot tower here at Fancy Island. What a beautiful day. And just before we go on our next ride, which is Sea Storm, just thought I'd show you the little board out the front just here. It's where you get all your information. Of course, the iCard uh, is what you can get if you don't want to have a wristband, basically. Uh, so it's three pounds for this ride. You top up your card as you go round. And the wristbands are very clever. They've got like a little, uh, well, the side and you, you activate. I'll get Alex to show you. Oh, sounded like I'd uh, shrunk there. <laughs> There we are. So, <laughs> it's a bit different, wasn't it? You're right, go fast. Let's have a look at your wristband and just, uh, just show the viewers your wristband. There we are. So you've got I'm like a. Shy. Oh, shut up. you got like a little chip in there, and when you hold it on, it like beeps, doesn't it? I've got Dale in mine, you've got Chip in there. Chip and Dale, right? yeah. It's quite a nice system, though. It's very modern, isn't it? Very, it's a bit too modern for me, really. You reckon? I really like it. See, I think it's a lot better than scanning your wristband like Pleasure Beach style. Yeah, it's like contactless pay as you go. Yeah, it's like. nice. I mean, it's very modern, but it's certainly it's working for them. But yeah, if you don't want to get the wristband, I'd certainly recommend getting one because it does work out better value. But there you are, yeah, it tells you the price on here along with any uh, restrictions as well. Well, there you go, right, let's go for a ride on Sea Storm. I'll try not to trump again. I think it was that bit of decking down there. We'll blame deck. Or was it ants? I'm not too sure. Right, I don't want to concern you all out there, but I've been told that we've got some stormy seas ahead. That's some stormy seas ahead, so we might have a bit of spinning action here. Oh, there we go. Stormy seas, is it? Oh, here we go. What's coming out now? Sunglasses. Hey. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm it's a lovely day to come to Fantasy Island. I, I, oh, I'm off. See you later. Yeah. It's like the spinning round. It is like the voice. Yeah, it's spinning chairs. What? Go on. Three, two, one. Oh, oh we're both going. See you later. I'll say it's Sea Storm. Yeah, there's a really good variety of rides here. Some great coasters, family and thrill. Lots of different flats as well to try out. Up next, have we go on the Twister. That's another one of the rides that's had some refurbishments for 2019. Oh, we're back together. Oh, we're on the side. Good to see you again. You don't fancy going on a three-week trip around America, do you? Doing 20 different theme parks. Australia, mate, if you're Really? Well, you never know. One day. One day. That's another lifelong dream. Oh. Oh yeah, 
It's a bit stormy ahead, I've been told. A bit stormy. Storms is over there. No, no, stormy's ahead. Oh, right. storms yeah. oh, I'm off. Oh, I'm off. Gone. Oh, oh. Storms is not ahead. I'm in, I'm in a funny position here. I'm sort of on, a, on an angle. Oh, you are as well. Oh, no, are you fully. Am I supposed to be like this? Oh, yeah, we're all right. Yeah. Hey, you're giving us a max. <laughs> you're giving us a Mexican wave out right there. Like, whoop. That'd be good on. Oh, George Ezra, yes. The road. Gotta hit the road. We love this. We love a bit of George. In the atmosphere. You know what, Alex? I can get used to this. Yes, we love George. Time goes by in the yellow and green. Oh, we're singing a bit fast. <laughs> There's a mountain top that I'm dreaming of. If you need me, you'll know where I'll be. You know what? I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. There you go. Shotgun underneath the hot sun. Someone. Long cycle on this one. The south of the equator navigator. Gonna hit the road. Oh, that's the end of the cycle. Gonna hit the road. End of the cycle. Great ride there on Sea Storm. And here we are over at Twister. This is another ride, like I say, that's been refurbished for this year. Completely stripped down, repainted. It looks absolutely awesome. Of course, you've got some new lighting on there as well, what says Twister with the LEDs, all on the back of the cars as well. And obviously it fits in with that Fantasy Island theme a lot more now. Great staff getting them to put their hands in the air, I love it. But yeah, it looks so much better than it did before with all like the bamboo style effects on it. Hey, I love it. I think we've got a few fans on here. Uh, but yeah, it looks brilliant. So let's get on board and share some on-ride footage from Twister. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your ride. Oh, here we go. Relax. I don't think we can relax on one of these, but we'll try our best to relax. So we just got to sit back and chill out. Here we are. Trouble, trouble maker. We've got some fans of Theme Park Worldwide on here. The operator. Oh. And also this guy. Love it, great staff on it. We love a bit of Oogie Oogie Oogie. Now, Alex, I'm going to try not to squash you. Yeah, you say that. I'll every try time. my best. I will refrain you from moving. That about, oh, that's it. That about five oh, oh, that's it. Oh. I will refrain oh. from squashing you. Try. There we are. Try, will you? Whee! Oh, wow. Love it. Oh. Great operators, give me a wave. Whee! Oh. Legends. Wow. Oh. Whee! Oh. Well, yeah, they both watch the channel on oh, here, which is great. I'm, oh. I'm quite enjoying it. Trouble, Trouble maker, maker, yeah, that's oh. your middle name. Oh. Trouble's your oh. middle name, isn't it? There's going to be a lot of trouble after <laughs> the drive. Oh. Why does it What's feel so elbow? good, but hurts so bad? No, 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 no. <laughs> does it hurt so bad? <laughs> wow. You might have noticed in the footage, just there is a waltzer opposite. That is not part of the uh, operation here at Fantasy Island. That's run by an external company, so it's not included in your wristbands. But yeah, there's a waltzer and there's something else as well over there. Bungee jumping a Miami wave. I believe Millennium's down. Millennium's down? That's not the great road. Oi! Oi! You all right? No. Hard <laughs> attack, troublemaker. Oh. Yes! Ingle Yeah. You have the post code as well. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. I'm not squashing you too badly no, this time. Are. Do you want me to press on a bit harder? No, yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. I'll move back and then come straight back in for a lap. Here no, we go. Don't, please. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> One hour to go. What, the ride? What? Uh, what? Yeah, I hope not. It's on nine o'clock. Twister riding really nice and smooth. Very comfortable. Stop it. Yeah, <laughs> don't you think? Oh, it's comfortable ride. Right. Stop digging your elbow in. Yeah, you're oh. all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. We've got plenty of these classic twisters coming up on the America trip if we get time. Oh, I won't be doing anything with you. Yeah. Oh. What's that? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Troublemaker. There you go, that's Twister. Refurbished along with Rhombus Rocket for 2019. Good cycle. Oh. 
What a beautiful day it is here in Ingold Mells. Picks a perfect time to come. Really happy with the weather today. We're having a great time. Next up, going on Techno Junk just behind me. Another one that Alice doesn't fancy going on, especially after the last ride. He got a bit squashed on there. So, uh, yeah, it's quite a noisy one, this. Let's go on for the ride. Have a bit of a bounce around. Right then, off we go on Techno Jump. Believe it or not, this is the longest I've queued all day for a ride here at Fantasy Island. Had to wait three cycles, so it's been about 20 minutes for this one. Normally quite a popular ride here at the park though. But yeah, you don't mind queuing for the odd thing. I mean, you come on a, an Easter holidays like it is now around Ingold Mells, you know, you're expecting to queue. So we've done really well so far today for rides. Done loads. It's about half past three now. And around we go. Three. Wow, love the sensation on this. Good air time. Whee. Get a good view of that hashtag rock work round here as well. Can you guess which is the new bit? <laughs> Whee. Wow. You get even more because when you're on your own, that compressed air, it's got more energy, hasn't it, when you're on your own in it? It's not got to lift up the weight of two or three people. So getting a nice intense ride on this. Oy. <laughs> so good fun. Bit cold though now, I must say, because the uh, yeah, it's got a bit windier. Then if Odyssey's going to stay home for much longer, but we'll soon find out. Oh, it's going round. It's just going up the lift hill now. Look, still going. Here we are, back up to the top. Hey! Bouncy! Oh! Really intense when you're on your own! Quite a long cycle as well, so well worth a 20 minute wait for that. Everybody up to the top now. Is this the big drop what we get now or the big finale? I think it could be. It's one full drop straight down. Building up the suspense. Whoa, there we are. Up we go, that's it, we've made it. Hey, oh, air time there as it goes to the top. Ready for the big drop. Hey, oh. <laughs> Oh, we've got a character out down here as well. Along with that, of course, you've got the projection mapping show in the pyramid as well. Quite a bit of entertainment and then fireworks tonight. Great ride there on Techno Jump. Three minutes and 19 seconds. ride there on Techno Jump as you saw from the on-ride footage. Really, really nice cycle there as well. Great operations. Just like to show you the merchandise just here inside the exit to the Millennium Coaster. You've got all these display cabinets nicely lit up. I was going to have a little ride on Magic just but it's still down at the moment unfortunately. Hopefully get on that later. So there's the mugs. $6.99 for those. Oh, fantasy announcement coming up. $19.99 for the hoodie just there. Lots of different colours. Like the drinks capsules, what they got there, $9.49. I'm not sure I'll have a mug though, to be honest, for $6.99. Lanyards there with your fantasy card on. Obviously, that's what you use to scan to get on the ride if you don't want to buy a wristband. Pens, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, loads there. I might have to make a purchase. Would you like oh, to buy some mugs? Oh, yeah, oh, I'd love to. Yeah, I'd really like yeah, to buy some. Can I get you? Can I get your mug? I'll, I'll have the mug, please. Yeah. For a mug. Yeah, sort that out a for you. Any embossed ones coming soon? <laughs> can't say that, mate. Can't tell you that. Oh can't no, because I don't know the answer. No, no, um, neither do I. But you never know. One day. One Having a good day so far, aren't we? Fancy. <laughs> Quite impressed. A couple of rides still down at the moment. Like I say, Magic's down. Frisbee's been down all day. But you never know. We might get on it later. If not, we've got an Odyssey. That's the key. We went on that earlier on, which is great. And it's just nice to be back because it is a great park. 
honestly, I've said it in every vlog that I've done since they did this a few years ago, but how awesome is the inside of this pyramid? I think a lot of parks need to be looking at doing stuff like this in this country, to I be honest. I think you need to mention it every time you come back. Like, I'm going to. Like, like, on this I think it's worth it, to be honest. It's, it's great. And I believe there's a new animatronic somewhere. Yeah, where are they? Yeah, like the s s singing ones, aren't they? Singing should we see if we can find it? I think that should be our mission before the end of the day. Let, let's try. I, I think it could be round the down the bottom end somewhere. To be it's honest, a, it's a big building to follow. It around, is. But we'll find it. But if you've never seen any of our older vlogs from here before, Mel has took over the park. Check them out, and you'll see how different this used to be. Like all the pyramid at the top. Uh, they blacked it all out basically, painted it all, so it's, it's night time all the time in here now. They put the projection mapping show on the side, obviously uh, remodeled Dragon Mountain, put in a miniature golf course called Lava Creek, uh, which is located all down the bottom. Actually, you see it quite a bit from when you're walking up towards Dragon Mountain and also on Seaquarium. The balloon ride, that got repackaged, put all lights on it, and yeah, it's just a nice atmosphere in here. But uh, yeah, we've done pretty much all the major rides, other than the ones that are still closed at the moment. Um, so yeah, we'll see you a little bit later on. I'm going to do a few more re-rides and I'll share a bit more footage of the park. Probably going to have a little stroll out as well because it is quite a long day. I was just staying until 9 o'clock for the fireworks. Have a little stroll out and I'm sure we'll come back a little bit later ready for the display and also to do some more rides. Oh, oh, there we are. You got it. Straight ahead of me I'm looking right at him. He's there in the Oh, let's go and have a look. Let's have a closer look at him. There we are. Oh, there he is, hiding at the top. Yeah, I thought he's around the back here somewhere. So this guy, he sings. We've seen a video on Fantasy Island social media. Give them a follow on their official channels. He looks like he's doing a lot at the moment. He looks like he's half awake. He's had probably a long, early start this morning. You reckon? But if yeah, check out their social media. He, he does actually move around and sing. Probably on a timer, maybe. I don't maybe. think he's on a sensor. I can't see any sensors about. But how nice is that, though? Improvements have been made, and it's good to see Paul looks really fresh. Very impressed. We'll see you a little bit later on and hopefully we'll get a bit of singing from our little pal up here as well. It looks a bit tired though. So we've just done a few more rides here at Fantasy Island. Had another ride on Air Max 360. Beautiful sunset, along with Rhombus Rocket as well. It's really quiet in the park, so I thought let's come back inside. It's also gone very cold. It's just over an hour to go until the fireworks. I thought let's have a bit of a warm up and a bit of a, a bit of a toughen up as well. Because like, if you want to go on this American trip, you've got to come and conquer something with me. Earlier in this vlog, no, I know what we, you're going to say. We spoke no. about a new attraction. Yes, they've got Ice Mountain. Yes, they've got Air Max 360, but they've also got something that I've never done with Alex before, a high ropes course here in the Pyramid. So, yeah, yeah. Think Marvel Live on YouTube. We're going on. Not, let's not, get you, let's so get your kit in. I am not doing this. You can't make me do, do it. Do you want to go on these 20 parts? I'm doing America. the 20 parts, yeah. Can I get kitted up then? What? No. How are you getting on there, Alex? Are you all right? I'm terrible. Come on, let's see you getting kitted up. He's not doing a very good job, is he there? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'd think you worked on these before, wouldn't you? There you go, yeah, that's it. There we are, come on. I must say, it's quite easy to get kitted up for this. There's not too much to it at all. I was, uh, I'll let you, yeah. <laughs> Look, right, well, I'll see you shortly. I'll uh, make my way up there. Let's go up the steps over the arcade. I've done a lot of these over the years, but I must say, I've never, uh, I've never done one over an arcade before. There we are, welcome to the high ropes course. So obviously with this, you pull yourself along with this just at the top, just here. Hey! <laughs> you on YouTube? <laughs> Love it, so obviously you decide which ones you want to go on. So if I want to go over here, watch out for the slot machines down below. Uh, is Alex Crump coming up? <laughs> there we are. Oh, we've got Dean or no, oh there's a 2P down here in the, in the slot. It's annoying me, yeah. <laughs> That's the worst thing about this, you know, I can't see me two feet. There we go, oh. This is really good in here. What? This is a great addition. I go as far to say already, this is my favorite addition for this year out of the three new things. Here he comes. There we are. Oh, it's a wobbly one, this. Wobbly beam. Here he comes. <laughs> this is a bit of a wobbly one. Look. Is he supposed to do this? Yeah. 
Here he comes. See, we've got to see you toughen up ready for this America trip, Alex. I'm not going to do this America. Oh, well, wait till you see what I've got planned. Yeah. Oh, my God. I have never felt like dying over an arcade in my life. I'm going to say, like, this is a good addition in the arcade, isn't it? I just keep seeing two P's down below. Yeah, two P's on this, did you pay on the way? <laughs> I didn't, no. It's disgusting. It's all right, I'll just get it off the, out of the slot machine. Actually, no, I'll take that back. That's the exit, is it? Oh, is oh, it? Oh, no, it's not. No, you're all right. You can go around that way. Oh, you know what? I'm going to be a man. A man? For once in my life, I'm going to do something nasty. Well, you're going to do that one. Here, I'll, I'll say it, then I'll film me come over oh, that one. I don't feel so confident. You don't feel confident. Okay, yeah, I'm not confident at all. Exit, oh it? well, I'm come over this wobbly one once I've got to the other side. Oh, you not catch me on that one. Ooh. Ooh. Here, Alex. This one's more for you, I think. Have a go. Go on. Have a go on this wobbly one. We get some good footage of you. Oh. He's gonna show you how it's done. That's it, mate. He's good. He's good. You're doing a good job. That's it. Oh, oh, shocking. It's all right. If he's got to come over this one, which is even harder. So, looking down over the arcade. This is literally where the rock climbing wall was. I think I'm standing right where it used to be. This is a great new addition. Look at that professional. Right, he's going for it. Come on, Crumpy. You can do it. I'm proud of you, mate. If you can get to the end of there, you're going on the road trip. In less than two months, it's crazy. There we are. So oh my God. As you can see, the beam wobbles sure, a bit. Like Stop talking. <laughs> it's wobbling. Give me some support down there, come on. <laughs> no one's giving you any support, mate. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you're doing a good job. You're nearly on the road trip. He's nearly there. You go to America. Yeah. I feel like I'm in the Blackpool Tower Circus on this one, mate. Look at this one. I, I, I feel like I'm in the Blackpool Tower Circus or something. I've, I've got a lot more respect for circus performers after this one. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. This, this is really hard, this one. You gotta go very slow. course is a fantastic addition to Fantasy Island. I was only on there about 10 minutes, but it's just something else to do, isn't it? And I think it'll go down really well. I think the fact that it's something else indoors inside the pyramid, lots of different attractions to see in here, including this wonderful little ride that we're on that used to be outside. It used to be horses. I think we're on zebras we're on now, I think. It takes you all around these different animals. But yeah, it's a shame to see the park so quiet tonight. Honestly, get yourselves down here and come and check them out this year. We've had a really good day today. There's only been a couple of rides closed. Obviously, the, the magic ride, that's closed outside. The Huss uh, magic, that's shut. And also the Frisbee as well. So, you know, nothing too major. We got on the new stuff. We've seen all the changes to this year, which is good. Uh, and yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Of course, we've got the fireworks coming up shortly, in just under an hour. It's getting dark out there, so I think we'll try and do another ride on the coasters. And uh, yeah, that'll bring us towards the end of the day here at Fantasy Island. Yeah, so our little friend who was having a nap earlier on is now in action. Ain't no stopping him now. I, I really like that. Move for 2019, all these improvements, honestly, like the massive list of improvements for this year. It's been great, hasn't it? Re really, and we really enjoyed it today. Like, we've been here since 11 o'clock. It's now nearly 8 o'clock. I would say, we've probably loads. had the cost of a, a, a typical UK theme park price in the cost of, what, a £22 day wristband? Yeah, like, on the day, 22 quid. £19.80 it would have been today, booked online. I'd like, say you'd like, £40 on the visit if you yeah. really make the most of the time you have here and see everything. And, and we've not even done the too. golf. Like, that's included in this wristband as well. Obviously, the high ropes that you just saw included in the wristband. Don't worry about that one. Uh, something that we've not shown me, of course, is the, is the bowling. Like, there's a really good bowling. It's not included in the wristband, but, you know, I think if you get 
in a two-day band, it is actually included. That's but, to consider. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot here. It's a great park, and it's a really improving Show park. Two hours on the volcano. Yeah. But entertainment. I've seen quite a few characters walking around the park. Yeah, did you see the costume character earlier? Yeah, yeah. yeah I was Fantastic. on Techno Jump. Really, yeah. really impressed. Yeah, I think this park is on the way up. And I've said that in quite a few vlogs recently. You said that at the highest point of this ride as well. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. I said that a few times though recently. Obviously at Portland's Park, Pleasurewood Hills, I said it last week. Honestly, I feel like we're in a good state for some of our UK parks. I feel like some of the, you know, less considered parts, like, you know, the parks that kind of get pushed second place and yeah. other things, are actually starting to compete with some of the... I think you've got it spot on there. Yeah. Parks. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not calling, you know, Fantasy Island or, you know, even Palms Park, like Drayton Manor and stuff, they're not down here at all. People do automatically rank them lower because of the less rides that they have. But actually, in the things that they do, they are starting to book themselves up and do something better. Yeah. in my opinion and this is one of the nicest themed areas in the UK like yeah. this wouldn't look out of place in somewhere like Toverland for example you know I think this is actually better themed than the indoor area at Toverland is you know because I it's immersive sort of I said this this morning that if there were you know touch wood if there was ever to be another UK theme park built an indoor area whether it's the entrance or primary focus of the park I don't think it was a miss with the inconsiderate weather we have in this country. 200 days a year of rain, you know. If this was standalone, the pyramid with its six attractions or whatever inside you could it. Ten of these like, around the yeah. country and little towns you and could. cities just for entertainment complex in the evening. I feel like that was a really nice, like it was a very interview style that was. Like just going around, it's like that John Warder video of him on Enterprise at Alton Towers. Like just going around on the ride, you know, taking it all in. But now Alex is very right with all that. And I, I couldn't agree more with you about that actually. You know, it's very true. But hopefully, big things to come i would like to see another major coaster here and hopefully it'll happen in the future wow look at that sky just up there absolutely breathtaking you got the moon up there in the sky as well wow about half an hour to go until the fireworks another pov but this time on the front row and it's a bit of a private eye there's only two of us on just me and alex on the front row here this is going to be some really nice footage, guys. Probably one of the nicest POVs of 2019 wow. so far as we make our way over the crest wow, wow, wow. of the lift hill. Ice Mountain all lit up down there. The lights are actually on the sides of the trains on this as well. And down we go. Wow. Oh, lovely. Woo. Alex's first time doing these at night as well. lighting package Woo -hoo -hoo. what a ride we don't have some memories of these parks that's, that's a nice a little bit of strobe oh, action oh my word. it's a bit cold though now I'll tell you that yeah <laughs> hey, volcano wow hopefully Woo. we should be able to get a nice nighttime POV next on the Odyssey just before the fireworks so we'll head straight over there and hopefully get that oh the pyramid lights as well so iconic brilliant that was really nice look at that sky gorgeous that was wonderful wasn't it how nice was that but you know what would really make it for me now is if I get my first nighttime ride on Odyssey in a long time we're talking seven eight maybe more years the good thing is, the train's not in the station, the gate is open, so that means one thing, the train is probably going around the track. And I just heard somebody say that ride was amazing. So, that was coming from the direction of the It looks ride. like we're gonna be riding an Odyssey just before the fireworks. So yeah, let's go and have a ride. Yes, we're on. Love it, I don't think it's gonna be a front row, but we can have a go. So it might be worth waiting for the front, I think. It's probably worth holding off. We'll do a front row. I think we've got time. Get an ice cream. We'll do the fireworks. It'll be great. Oh, I'm so happy to be doing this ride right now. Honestly, it's been a long time. I think I've just worked out that it was nine years ago when I last did this. I'm pretty sure, unless there's some, something that I'm missing, but I'm pretty sure it was. This has got a bit more lighting on it uh, compared to Millennium. It's got some floodlights underneath lighting up the structure. So that should be quite nice. Wow. Can you imagine being at the top of this when the fireworks are going off? <laughs> yeah, just stop that. Yeah, just stop at the top. Or even do a, do a walk up this lift would be nice. Love to do that. You used to be able to pay to walk up Millennium. I'm not too sure if you still can. 
This just goes to show though that it's not that windy at all. Like, you know, we're all the way up here. There's not that much. Like yeah. <laughs> Without a light in it, it just looks like the track disappears into nowhere there. That's quite funny. Oh, wow. I'm so looking forward to this. The tallest SLC in the world, baby. Let's go, front row. <laughs> this is great. And that is why I love my hobby so much. That was incredible, brilliant, smooth, enjoyable and relentless. What an experience. It's now time for some fireworks. People really need to appreciate this ride. Oh, I so want to appreciate it. What an SLC. You don't hear me saying that very often. Absolutely fantastic ride we had on the Odyssey in the dark. Absolutely incredible. And look at all the lights around the park. Millennium going around there with the LEDs on the side of the train. Air Max is all lit up nicely. Along with that, the pyramid's got its lights on. Oh, honestly, the park looks absolutely gorgeous. There's that lighting package over there on Air Max. Stunning. Ice Mountain as well with the facade lit up. Really impressed. But here we go, everyone's gathered ready for the fireworks. They're starting in about five minutes time. So here we go, I'll show you some footage from the fireworks, Easter 2019 here at Fantasy Island. Enjoy the show. Our fireworks display will commence shortly. Please find yourself a suitable location within the outdoor fairground to watch the fireworks. Please note that lights will be dimmed during the performance. <laughs>
like I'm in a Disney park or something with this playoff music at the end. That was a seven minute show that was absolutely beautiful. You would not think that what is an amusement park I just put that show on. Bear in mind, we see the late night riding fireworks at Pleasure Beach, what they do, and fair enough, they're brilliant shows, but that was magical. And this playoff music now, like, they've clearly looked at what Disney do and thought, we want to have our own bit of Disney in Ingold Bells. It, it, like, that was lovely, wasn't it? It was really, really, like, really I was nice. actually tearing up a little bit. I mean, the fact that we're standing here, you've got all these coasters around, the pyramid that's like their, it's like their castle, isn't it? I know it's not the same, but you know what I mean? That's their icon of the park. And you know what? That was absolutely beautiful. What a way to wrap the day up. It makes me really sad to see that not many people actually stuck out until the end for that, because that was wonderful. Like, that's been well worth hanging about all day for that. We've done loads of rides, loads of night rides. That was gorgeous. We had a bit of flame machines before. They weren't used in the show, but in a way, I can kind of see why they didn't want to use them, because it was quite, the soundtrack's custom made for the park. It's the Fantasy Island song. And yeah, like how magical was that? It was a lovely show. <laughs> it was. A, a welcome surprise, yeah. but more than a surprise, it was incredible. I mean, you've never seen fireworks here before. I've seen them no. a couple of times, but not like that. That was very, very this, impressive. This, this park, be, I mean, being in my hometown is, is nice enough. To see a park that is on the rise, and you know, it's had a few dark years, it's on the rise. That's well actually, in the past, isn't it? And like, to see, like, to see that scale of production, I've got to mention quickly that pyramid means a lot to me. My dad was part of the team that helped put that together. <laughs> so, <laughs> I knew he was getting that. Head. We made a joke about that all day. And this park means a lot to me. It's like, I, I grew up with this park. I had my second and third birthday parties in a play area just across the street called Tiny Tots. That's still exactly the same. I came here as a kid, went to Butlins just down the road, and I also wanted to say, Mum, I love you. I know you're oh, getting the emotional. Moment. My mum had a hip replacement done this week. I Aww. love you, Mum. I know you're watching this whilst you're recovering. I love you so much, and this is for you. I do this all for you to make me be proud of me, and I hope you are. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. You right. on doing what no, honestly, doing. though, what a day. Like, highlight of the day has been that firework display. Incredible. Best ride, Odyssey in the Dark for me. 100%. What, what a day. Honestly, thanks to the guys here at Fantasy Island for having us down here today. Uh, and of course, oh, uh, they gave us complimentary wristbands today for the part. Very kind of them. Uh, they also gave us permission to film on the rise. Don't film on the rise unless you have permission. Uh, from the park. Honestly, thank you very much for having us. We'll be back. I'm sure we'll be back again this summer. I'd like to bring Charlotte back down here. But I just want to say on that point, go back. I can't remember the exact vlog, unless Alex can, but me and Joe came here probably about four years ago, maybe a little bit more, and we filmed the vlog and we had a, an awful day. This I is, think it was 2014. Maybe, I mean, this, this was the old ownership of the park. Like, obviously yeah. it's under complete new ownership now. If you watch that vlog, you'll see what the day what me and Joe had and how different the park looks then to what it does now. I just want you to watch, I'd love you to go back and watch that vlog. And this is me just trying to plug an old video. Honestly, I'd love you to watch that after seeing the, what it's like today and Good see man. the difference what the Mellors family have put into this park. There's a long way to go with some areas, but I really feel like it's a park on the up. And to compliment all the staff as well today. Yeah, really good. Staffing has been amazing. Mm -hmm. People have been really lovely. The staff on all the rides, all the all the restaurants and things we've seen, the people we've spoken to, incredible. What lovely. A, what a fantastic 10 out of 10. 20, £22 for a day wristband on the day. £19, was it 20 on the day? No, 1980. £19.80 online. online. Can't moan at that, can you? I, 11 till 9. This. What, what a day. Of course, wow. get on the website, check the opening times, get your tickets booked, come down here, support your local parks. And of course, if you've never been here, come and try something new. Thank you very much for watching. Me and Alex are very sunburned. This will be us at the, at the end of the American trip. We're going to layers on. Oh, no. Thanks for joining us. And that means it's time to cue those credits. See you all soon, fantasy fans. Bye-bye.